So here's a reveal of the Archer Battlemac that I built. 160 scale, uh, built out of various resin and other assorted pieces of parts. So again, based on the Andoyo design, that was the uh, drawing I started with. And this is what we ended up with. Pretty close uh, in scale. I'm about a half an inch to an inch taller than I anticipated, but it works out. Um, the torso ended up being the tricky part, so I articulated it. Um, I'm also going to show a couple of uh, pictures and so forth from it. Fully articulated, magnetized the arms. that one scuffed up the torso missile launcher is open I haven't finished the internals but they do open and I'll put LM 20s and SRM 4s the cockpit articulate the uh, cockpit the torso articulates it's on a magnet so that I can actually take it off easier. Um, the cockpit also lights up and that switch is here in the back. Lights that and you can see the instrument panel. And the cover for the back. Like so. And just I use magnets. Um, the top mounted medium lasers actually helps keep it in frame. Again, also magnetized for easy articulation and removal. Let's get to the side here. These are the legs. And I articulated them again using magnets because it made that easier for that twist so that. They can stand, and that little twist there gives it strength and stability. These articulate, the ankles articulate a little bit. Gives some scuff from kicking, kicking other mechs. So I gave it the uh, Wolves to Groons, Jamie Wolf paint scheme. I was not pleased with just a straight blue and apparently I have a minor issue but that's quickly fixed. So what happens when you paint and glue. I don't want to actually go back and reshoot this. So there you go. Instant repair. So there is what she looks like on the table. It's her back. I'll go ahead and bring forth some pictures and so forth to follow behind here. So here is the Mac standing on a display, just rolling around, getting a look, showing you what she looks like just standing. And here's a look at her back, um, just giving you a look at what she looks like on the back side with that removable panel. And now here we are with some static photos. Uh, like I said, I went with Jamie Wolf's black or black, blue and gold paint scheme, but I didn't like the way the the straight blue weathered up and looked. So I went with a gray, black, and blue camo, break it up, give it more of a military look, and also made it paint up better. I think it looked better, at least for my painting skills, it does. 
Um, got some decals in there. Here's a shot of the top. Get a look at the instrument panel and the top parts of the missile launchers. And then a shot of the back showing some of the radiation covers. So there you go, folks. That is the ARC 2W Archer Battle Mac, Jamie Wolf, based on the NWO version of the Archer. And here it is with a Timberwolf Mark II.